In this week's roundup, Washington State turns up the heat on local wolves, pangolin hunting on the rise in Central Africa, the first eastern quoll bred in a century, and a whale rescue in California. Get these stories and more in your weekly recap of wildlife news. Starting off with some troubling news, pangolin hunting is on the rise. A recent study collated research from 14 countries and found some 2.7 million pangolins may be killed per year in Central Africa alone. The statistic represents a 145% increase since 2000. Experts are calling for stricter enforcement of the trade ban along the supply chain. Off to California, where three live king cobras were found hidden in potato chip cans en route from Hong Kong. The man who was to receive the package outside of Los Angeles has been arrested on federal charges and could face 20 years in prison. In more snake news, two species of endangered rattlesnakes have been spotted in Iowa. This is a great sign that local habitat restoration efforts are working as planned. Speaking of success stories, conservationists in New South Wales recently welcomed the first eastern quoll joeys in over 100 years. Feral predators ate these mammals into extinction on mainland Australia, so it's hoped the litter will be a jumping off point for reintroduction. On to the week's weirdest. Researchers are using vibrators to arouse turtles. It might sound unusual, but the method is a non-invasive way to tell males from females. As it turns out, it takes some fine-tuned technique to get the job done. Over to Iran, where it seems the fishermen who rode on a whale shark will face no charges. Dangerous as it may be, local law enforcement can only step in if an animal is visibly injured. From the biggest shark to one of the smallest, a new species of lantern shark was recently discovered in the deep Pacific Ocean. The creature weighs about 2 pounds and is characterized by its huge nose. Staying on the Pacific coast, Washington state has killed another wolf under a controversial depredation license. The animal was a member of the Smack Out Pack, and the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife plans to remove other pack members over the coming week to protect local cattle. And rescuers in California are working to save a pygmy sperm whale that beached itself on La Jolla shores. The whale is in critical condition, so chances of survival aren't high. Rounding off by saying so long to Snooty, the world's longest-lived captive manatee. Snooty died at South Florida Museum at an astounding 69 years old when he became accidentally trapped in an underwater corridor. That's it for this week. We want your opinions on these nature news stories. Be sure to let us know what you think in the comments below.